been a wonderful means for humankind to exercise one of our most fundamental instincts, competition within our fellow humans. Immersing all types of sports is the idea of sportsmanship, the respect and ethical behaviour shown to all participants of a certain contest. Hello everybody, my name is Kingsley Ong and I'm 14 years old. Today, I will be explaining how sports transcends competition and unites the world together. The spirit of the game, in many cases, is far more crucial than the outcome of the match. There are greater lessons to be learned besides being renowned in the sporting community. Sports, and by extension, the athletes who play them, are able to go beyond cultural differences. Similarly, all fans of a certain sport are able to truly appreciate marvellous athletic feats or classy displays of sportsmanship. Let's take an example. During the recent Olympic Games, in the semi-finals for the women's badminton singles, Spanish badminton player Car Carolina Marin had ruptured the anterior cruciate ligament of her right knee and was unable to play further in the match. This was truly a disappointing moment for her. Then, the day after Marin's injury, a heartwarming warming moment occurred when her opponent, He Bing Jiao, brought a Spanish badge and held it beside her silver medal on the podium during the medal ceremony. She did this act to commemorate Carolina for her perseverance and as a mark of respect for her. She truly displayed sportsmanship beyond just winning and losing. Simply put, sports have a way of uniting people together. In a day and age when settling cultural differences is of utmost importance, resulting more towards sports is a reasonably viable way to bring the world closer together. In the recent Olympic Games, people from all walks of life come to Malaysia to eagerly watch our badminton heroes fight for the gold, silver and bronze medals. You can see them at the Mamak stalls and restaurants eagerly watching our badminton heroes fight for the awards. We were not seated first, but when we won the bronze, Everybody whooped with joy and high five each other across the table, regardless of race and religion. Even the badminton team and badminton coaches originate from different backgrounds. This is what we call unity. The Olympic creed says it best. The most important thing in the Olympics is not to have won, but to have participated. Just as the most important thing in life is not about the triumph, it's about the struggle and the process of how you reach the triumph. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but to have fought well. We all understand about this quote, but we didn't take the time to really dig deeper into its origins. Let us venture into the life of Pierre de Coubertin. Pierre was a man who absolutely treasured sportsmanship and believed in the spirit of the Olympics, whereby the Olympics were a major platform to showcase sportsmanship and as a place to continuously work to be our best selves. Then, he compiled all of his ideas together to form what we know now as the Olympic Creed. Subsequently, he envisioned that the Olympic Games could be so much more and assembled a group of people which became the Olympic Committee. This committee was finalized in 1894. Last but not least, 
the Olympic Games that exist today was established and finally began in 1896. To add a touch to the Olympics, Pierre de Coubertin designed a special slogan for the Olympics, Citius, Altius, and Fortius, which means in Latin, swifter, higher, and stronger. Sports show us that no matter where we come from or what we believe in, we can unite together not just as competitors, but as people celebrating from different walks of life and from different parts of the world. Celebrating together, no matter whether it's small or big. So, as Malaysians and as global citizens, let us continue to support and uplift each other because the true win isn't just about the game. It's about uniting together as one. Thank you very much everybody for listening to my presentation. Your voice.